Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I am at Atier and it's an exhibition, exhibition, I can't say that, it's a fair where, well, they try to show us here in Denmark what's new in IT and ITR is this IT company that sells you IT solutions and IT components and um, yeah they invite to this every year and I've been attending for many 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 years I think might even go 15 years back maybe even more um, companies they buy and sell each other up and uh, the ATIA name has kind of been there for a long time and the first Excubition. Excubition was a whole different company. It was way smaller and it was in Odense, which is on the island of Fyn here in Denmark. But well, enough babbling. I'm gonna go around and see if there's anything interesting. And I'm bringing you along. Well, if you like it or not. There are a lot of red trøjer around here. And it's all Atea medarbeiters that run around in them. It looks a little strange out and you think it's because we don't have strygejern or anything eller ikke har kunnet få nogen til det. Men øh, der er en tanke bag det. I kan jo se, at det har noget med fodbold, der gør. Der står DBU på nogle af dem. Og øh, man kan jo stille sig selv spørgsmålet, hvad har ATA og IT med fodbold, der gør? Men det er der faktisk en rigtig god mening bag. Fordi mennesker er alt. Inden for fodbold og inden for IT. Det, det, det er lige mig for os. Nej, så er det ikke. For borgerne, de konsumerer al den, al den information, alle de muligheder, som vi ser i vores uh, smartphones og iPads og det hele, vores computers, så vil vi også mødes med, med, med det vores, uh, som borgere. Hvordan får jeg adgang til, til hospitaler? Hvordan får jeg hospi til myndigheder? Og hvordan kan jeg få de tjenester? That speech became too much. Um, it was very impressive that Swedish person, which I've already forgotten his name, he was very good at speaking Danish actually, but they came and talked about their green profile and it just became too much back clapping. Um, so yeah, I needed a pancake, so I went for that. I am uh, here with Dennis from IBM and he's telling me about their new, uh, I don't, storage wise V7000. I don't know how new this is. How new is it? Uh, this one in particular is uh, our generation 3, so this is uh, a half a year old from launch. Yeah. And Dennis is telling me about these NVMe drives that is self-compressing. And um, I thought that was really fantastic to hear that there is computing power out on the disk itself that handles some of the uh, compression and decompression. Um, and encryption also, yeah. And encryption as well. Oh, we didn't even talk about that. Cool. So, if I steal this, um, I don't get the data. Well. Thank you very much. And here is Preben, also from IBM. And Preben is uh, presenting me with an... Yeah, what is it? It's a Power AI appliance box. Let's see it. Yes, this is a power AC922, which is our GPU enabled power machine for AI workloads. And these are GPUs? These are GPUs, and, and this device can handle up to six GPUs one there, one there, one there optional, one there, one there, and one there. The two, number five and six. Uh, those those uh, require water cooling, but in up to four GPUs, we can handle that within the box with a traditional uh, airflow. Just water cooling. Uh, uh, water cooling is six, five, and six. This is air cooling for one to four. Yes, these two are to the, the front. There is all these fans. Up there, exactly. Right? There is there is four, four fans, which actually ensures the airflow into the core CPUs. And as the core CPUs do not get as hot as the GPUs, they are in front of the GPUs. And as you can see. The airflow from fan 1 and 2 goes into the first CPU and further on to 1 and 2, uh, GPU number 1 and 2, and the uh, air, the fans for 3 and 4 go into the secondary CPU, which then leads into the GPUs down there. And an airflow 
called the power supply. Yeah, that's here. exactly. That's I what I that means. This was 2200 watts of power supplies exactly. times two. Yeah, so. no, well, look, yeah, and, and uh, the actually, if you if you take out everything, every active uh, GPU out of this one, the core uh, backplane with two CPUs uh, drags around the 1250 watts itself. Wow. But you, in, if you have it fully equipped, you are in uh, production performance, you will drag around 3000 watts in one. Uh, oh, so it's record. not even redundant when you get up there? No, you know, it's totally. not. It's not. You, you can keep it running, but you cannot boot it when you're up there. And you cannot run heavy, heavy workloads on that when it's fully loaded. Thank you. I found my way over to the friends over at Lenovo, and uh, Jens here has been so nice to show me their new um, Lenovo system SE350, the server that um, no one has been able to s supply to me yet. So, so what does this do? Uh, the SE350 is a more or less a server with data center security built in. Uh, on the system board, there's a an accelerometer that will detect movement so if people try to run away with the server it will shut down and all of the drives in the system are self-encrypting so if somebody tries to tamper with the device all of your data is secure and the system is unusable until it's unlocked through the ThinkShield portal where the system security is handled it's, it's very cool, it's like a full server where everything is just scaled down. Like, there's only four blocks of memory, but it handles 64 gigabytes of uh, memory blocks, so it, a total of 256 gigabytes of memory. Yeah. And the D... It's a 16-core CPU uh, in the system, and it's... Yeah, it's up there HPD somewhere. 2100. Yeah, up to 16 core. Yeah. yeah. And I was looking at this device, what is that box? And it was just, it was just this, uh, just that, that was teasing me. Yeah. This module we have over here is a combined Wi-Fi and LTE. And the wires going from it is going to the antennas at the rear. Uh, this is the PCI cage, and they call it left and right wing in, in this uh, system. Over here, it supports a T4 uh, GPU from NVIDIA, or you can install NVMe M.2 drives in here. And you can have four drives in this side and four drives on this side. So in total, it supports up to eight NVMe drives. We were also laughing about this um, wrench yeah. that they have here for the antennas, but you need a screwdriver to release it, so that was kind of amusing. So, thank you very much for the presentation. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, there are also different seminars down here, and I've just been attending one, listening about uh, Hewlett Packard and Nimble Storage, and what they um, what they have done for a company here in Denmark, um, a company making cartridges for milk and juice and stuff, and they bought an nimble storage system and um, well they had a nice experience with that so yeah nice use case now i'm gonna try this thing over here um toilet facility a lot of other things not all about servers here there is also a lot of consumer products and school things and screens for stuff, <laughs> mouse trappers, headsets, copy machines, cables, more um, headsets, and presentation screens. Cages for leaving your iPad at school and charging it and stuff. Safety equipment for tablets. More headsets. Even more headsets. Thank you. 
Hmm. Okay, so the show is over for today and the vendors of this fair exhibition is, um, well, they are taking everything down. It's kind of a big thing. It's two big fence. 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 Yeah, buildings that they have put up just for this and they're uh, taking everything back down. So, learn a lot of storage stuff today and um, some of it useful, other stuff, well, might never get to use that. But everybody has their own idea of how to do storage and yeah, there's just too many products at the moment. So some of them will win, some of them will be taken over by other stuff. Um, this was Atia Expo 2019, uh, took all day, but I had a good time, there was a lot of people that I knew here, I even met a couple of subscribers, so that was cool. Thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye bye! Oh yeah, follow me on Twitter, I've been tweeting about this all day.